Good day, guys. Bing here. Um, today, let's um, try to model this. Okay, so let's try to model. I think um, the shape of uh, this roof. Okay, so okay, so let's. Um, Let's do it. Okay, so first, um, let's um, create a. So we can, uh, we can. Let's just let's create. Oh hell, 2022. That's fine. So I'm going. Uh, I'm going to use 2022 now. So um, first, I'm going to create a project. So I'm going to use architectural project, and then um, I'm going to model use model in place okay so model in place add mass okay so okay so so first I'm going to I'm going to uh, uh, use the side plan and uh, um, let's have a look of, uh, at this um, so I'm going to just roughly model the shape of this. So um, the dimensions might be wrong, but and also I'm not going to make it parametric. Okay, so so um, what I'm going to use is um, reference line. Okay, so I'm going to use reference line and the spline through points. So you can also use um, points. Uh, start with so let actually let, let let me try to use points. For this one and also um, okay so currently maybe I'm going to draw some reference plan first okay so draw some reference plan so roughly I'll draw one horizontal and a vertical so um, at least I know where I'm going to uh, place this so now I want to place a point draw on work plan and I wanted to place it onto uh, level one, level zero that's fine so uh, just uh, um, pretend that's a ground floor so it will be on ground floor so this is one point okay so if I go to 3d view you will see this point is sitting on the ground floor or level zero right so now go back to side plan so we can copy this Okay, so uh, I think I'm going to copy this up uh, depending how big your roof is. So I'm um, <laughs> I'm not sure, maybe 50 meters. Okay, so and then I'll just mirror this point to this end. So now we have three. Oh, hang on, where's my other point? Uh, MM. Ah, so because this one's not checked, so it just it. Delete, uh, it will delete the, uh, the the original one. So okay, so now we have three three points, so we can create a spline. But before that, I want to create more. So I'm going to just copy copy points. So one two three, copy this. So CC copy. Um, I'm not sure how big it need to be. How about ninety meter, <laughs> or maybe one hundred. <laughs> Move it another ten meter. Okay, and then across we can just mirror mm checked copy and go to the other side so now we at least we have three sets of points and then we can um, maybe copy another uh, 50 meter maybe and this cc 50 meter as well so now okay so if i go to 3d view you will see all these points Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, five sets, and then you can create a spline using these points and make them reference line. Okay, so select them, spline through points, and make a reference line. Okay, and um, once we have these points, we can, uh, we need to create a form first because. If we create now, uh, I think that's 100%. We can create this form, but if so, let me show you. If I control Z, if I adjust some of the uh, some of these points, you know, like something like this and that, move this point, and then try to create a form, 
and sometimes it won't see we won't be able to create this form so just control z go back so and then we can 100% we can create a form and once we have this form we can adjust this form and there shouldn't be an issue okay so now let me go back control z control z and control z so i want to have a look at um, those images so the shape of this roof so it's it's actually quite simple so you will see it's a rectangular shape and uh, so curved corner so which is a little bit hard in uh, to create in uh, using mass in Revit but uh, we're going to create create that corner okay so and also from the top so uh, it's a bit hard to it's, uh, it's it's more like a rectangle also with the cur um, curved uh, corner and so that's a void so and also if uh, if if you don't look at that, so this is more uh, another rectangle, or uh, more like a, oh maybe this one, like an an oval ellipse shape. Uh, oh hang on this one. So yeah, I think it's similar. It's uh, like uh, an ellipse. So um, okay, so we can do that. So let's have a look at uh, this image. So it's more like, so we need to cur create that curve, go up, and maybe this edge can go up as well. But this edge is more uh, looks 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 like just uh, flat. So yeah, so let's do it. So now we have this shape. So um, first, I want to maybe let's just create that curved so we're going to use void to cut that okay so to do this uh, i want to go to side plan again so to i'm going to just draw um another so i'm not going to use all any of these points so i'm going to create another reference line another set of reference line and rectangle draw on word plan set word plan so it's already on level zero that's fine so i'm going to just draw it from this point to this point okay so now i'm going to i uh, haven't finished this one so i i still have those ref uh, reference lines selected i think or oh, maybe not so um that's fine let me just select try to you see these four reference lines Okay, for reference line, I'm going to just type HI. So I um, just isolate all these four reference lines so it's easier for me to do the next step. So the next step is I uh, go to reference again. So go uh, use this fillet arc and just make sure your reference plans still on reference line. Oh, sorry, level zero. So otherwise, you won't be able to use this. Okay, so now you will see uh, you can just pick lines. But before I pick lines, I want to type in a, a radius. So I'm not quite, I'm not sure. Uh, maybe now, let's try nine meter. Okay, so pick this one, this one. So it will create this nine meter radius. So let's repeat, repeat, and repeat. Okay, so now, let, uh, type HR to show the 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 other reference uh, splines, but uh, we won't be able to create a void um one void to you know to cut all these corner, so um we need to create two void. So I'm going to quickly just draw some reference line. Okay, so it will be uh, so actually how. Yeah, Actually, I'm going to uh, let me just select these reference line. Okay, again, so this and type HI again. I want to use split SL to split this reference line. So anywhere. Okay, so I'll just click here, maybe click here. So now I'm going to place an, another um, uh, some more reference line. So reference. So this time I'm going to use line and also still on level zero 
and start from this point okay where i split this line so start from here go up here 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 and go back to this point and then another one reference line reference line and go back so sometimes it's really hard to pick that line type h e that's it. So now we have two sets of reference line. One is so start from here and here. And the other one's near here and back to here. So we can create, so see this one, if you move your cursor here, so you can select this closed uh, loop, you can create a void, okay? So I'm going to just pick the, the one on the left and just typing some number. So make sure uh, i'll just render uh, roughly um maybe time paying 550 meter okay and then this one as well just create so try to select this one and create a void and pick the one on the left just also type uh, some uh give it gives give it some thickness on uh, on the negative offset as well so if i go to 3d view you will see now we have um uh it's not visible that's that's okay because it's actually because those two void is um uh, are uh, uh already cutting the 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 surface so if i type um let me let me change the sh to shade sd oh, it's already shade hidden line hl uh, it's a little bit hard to see so actually you can you can see this uh, surface so see uh, this so if you tab you can use tab to select this surface so this is the surface so originally uh, it's a rectangular shape and because we create those two void so there's no uh, become a curved edge so this is exactly what we uh, need okay so now let's have a look at this image again so this now we have a rectangular shape with um with curved uh, corner and the, now we can adjust the height okay so we, first we need to adjust this height so currently it's a flat so we just need to so select these two points and i uh, um i uh, if uh, I like to do it in 3D view, so I'll just click on this. So any anyone, any face, as long as it's a um, elevation view. So we can use key use use the keyboard use keyboard to move this point. Let me change it to shade SD. Uh, it's still a little bit hard to. Maybe I'll just uh, give it give give this uh, form so try to select this form and give it some uh, color or a material so um, maybe how about this one copy apply okay oh, oh. <laughs> yep so now you can see uh, we are we adjust these points and then we can also adjust these points so let me select these three and move them up okay so something like this and also this one can go up a little bit further so now i think let's have a look at this image again so um we need to adjust the shape to match these curves so if you look at um maybe this one so you will see the curves from here go up and i think we need to increase the height in the middle although it's it's cut it, it, it's it's a void here but if you if you try to create a shape you need to go this point and you need to go up higher here probably so if i go same if i go to this view we need to increase the height of this point to create the see this curve so maybe we can move, lower these two points a little bit or increase this point up a little bit so to create that and maybe these two need to go, come down a little bit uh, maybe this one need to go up a little bit more so to create this okay so once we have this one and then we can we can do the next step and also um you can uh, not only you can move these points up and down so for example this one can go to the right if you wanted to and this one can go to the left if you wanted to 
Okay, so I think this is, uh, and also uh, currently we in this direction we only have one, two, three, three points. So if you wanted to, you can add, you can add more points. So you can do it at the very beginning, or you can do it now. You can so I'll quickly show you. So if you place a point, draw on face, you can place it on the this reference line. But currently, you can't control this um, arc. Control, sorry, control this curve. Use these two points. So you need to go here to make point driving. Once you click that, you can adjust this curve, this uh, spline. Use you using these two points. Okay, so HR. So you will see this shape become different. Okay, so let's go back, control Z, 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 control Z. Okay, so now let's go, let's type uh, HR to show this surface. So the next step is uh, we just need to cut the, cut the void in the middle, so it will be um, depending on what shape you want to, so you, uh, I will probably just go to the side plan again, and let me type HR. So you can just create another. So for example, this time uh, I'm going to create a ellipse. Okay, so still level zero. That's okay. So I'll start from this middle point. Go. Um, I'm not quite sure. Maybe here. Okay, so maybe, maybe, maybe here. And then, so let's uh, let uh, it's not visible because there's a there's a surface there. So you can type WF wireframe and select this and create a void. Okay. So once you create this void, so pick the one on the left and go to 3D view. So you will see this is a void. And also, um, it's um, it will uh, most of the time it will automatically cut this uh, the solid, but if it uh, if it doesn't cut, you can always use this. Okay, cut. So um, let's have a look at the sh at, uh, the shape is not quite right. So for example, if you look at here, it's it's more flat. Uh, it's very f oh, where is it here? The middle in the middle is very flat, so that's that's okay. So we can adjust. So what we need to do is um, probably just add another two point, two points, one here and one here, and move them down. So let's do it. So I'll place a point, draw on face, and place it on um, on this reference line, and also. Uh, just place two, okay? So, and also, I want to um, this point at the same um, re uh, same location. So, if there's like, for example, that's a, ten, a five meter offset from this point, I want this point to be five meter. So, to the, do this, I want uh, we can use this. So, you can use this uh, normalized curve parameter, and then, or you can also use segment length. So I'll just type in. So this point is um, actually, I think uh, it's a measure from this point. So that's fine. I'll just click on this. So it will um, be measuring from this point. So I'm going to type in, so maybe 10 meter. Okay, so 10 meter from this point. And also I want to pick this one and change this to segment length, 10 meter from the uh, this point. So now these two points, uh, um, so uh, off the uh, sorry, so the distance from the edge to this point they are uh, the same. So now we can select these two points and uh, click on this make point uh, driving. Okay, and then once we click on that one, and then we can move this point. So so now, if you click on this point, you will see. So currently, the color of these arrows, so they are orange and red. So what you can do, if I I don't want to uh, move them, 
using these directions, you can use spacebar. If you press spacebar, so now it will go x, y, and z. So now you can adjust this height. So for example, oh, actually, I'm going to do it uh, together. So um, ju just make sure they are all always at the same height or same offset. So I'm going to select them together. So this point and this point and go click on one of the elevation. So now I can use my keyboard to move the points. So for example, I'll just move them down until um, it's at the roughly, yeah, I think that's probably it. And of course you can always try to adjust these points. Um, so just select them, use your keyboard, move them, and and that's it okay so um i think the shape of this um uh, is not uh, uh it's 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 not very nice it's yeah but at least this is the idea um how you can create this and then you probably need to spend some time to create a shape you really uh, like. And if um, you might need, need extra, so for example, this one, this one, two, three, four, five, you might need seven uh, in this direction. So this uh, will have only three, you might need more extra. So for example, you might need extra here. So uh, yeah, so it's all up to you. Okay, so um, and this is it. So once you're so for example this shape. So if I am happy with, uh, let me have a look again. So yeah, that's this one's nice, but mine's very ugly. So anyway, so if I uh, think okay, this is okay, this is good. So I can just click on finish mass and this is the shape right and then we can create a, so for example create a roof so use a roof by face and that is it okay and also uh, for, for example if you want to uh, you don't want a solid roof you can also use a, so let's try curtain system so create a system and then uh, oh hey what's going on here um let's check the setting so probably because um yeah i'm not sure fixed number uh that's not right oh that <laughs> fixed number for that that's too the, the these panels are too big so that's fine so I, i'm not going to change anything i'll just type in 40 by 40 how about that so you, you with uh, this one with this curtain system you can create some quite nice um, glass roof and also you can change you can um, you can um, set oh hell try I'm trying to select the curtain system you can add mullions here as well and uh, what else you can do you can also use uh, use uh, let me just delete delete this curtain system. You can also in this mass, you can select, try to select tab, tab, select this face. No, not this one, tab again. Not this one, tab, no. Oh, hang on, let me just rotate a little bit. Try to tab, tab, click until you see this one. So, and then you can use a pattern based family for this surface so for example i'm going to uh, give just increase the number of uh, grids and then so you can create some very um, complicated uh, curtain panels uh, sorry pattern based families and something like that okay and that's that's it um if if you have any questions, please let me know. I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye.